Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I am doing another tag. This time it is the Goodbye 2019 tag. I was asked by Lily from Lily of the Valley to do this tag. If you are not familiar with Lily, please go check her out. I will have her link down below as well as all of the questions that I'm going to be answering. So the first question is happiest moment. Um, I would say probably, I've had a lot of happy moments, so it's kind of, this is a hard one to answer, but I would say probably one of the happiest moments was going back home this summer, so that wasn't a moment, but you know, a three week long moment. Um, I always love going back home during the summer, seeing my family, seeing my own, seeing my old home. Uh, so that was probably the happiest moment of the year. And then number two, saddest moment. That would tie into with the happiest moment of coming back home <laughs> after seeing family. Um, it's bittersweet. I love living here, but it's also really hard living here when we don't have any of our family here. So going and visiting them during the summer is wonderful. And I feel blessed that we're able to do that. Uh, but it is, it is really sad when we do have to come home. And at the same time, when you've been gone for three weeks, you kind of want to go home, so. But it is sad leaving family and, you know, your home that you knew basically for almost 40 years, which is back west. Number three, what did you learn this year? Um, I think I learned to have more patience um, and understand more that things aren't necessarily in my control. Well, they're not in my control. Um, they're in God's control. And I just have to trust that, you know, he knows what he's doing, which obviously he does. Um, but, you know, I have to leave things up to him and learn to be more patient about things and just kind of go with the flow more. Number four, did this year go by fast for you? Absolutely. Every year goes by faster than the previous one. I swear it's crazy. The older you get, the faster time seems to fly. I remember being a kid and time just seemed to like drag on and not anymore. I cannot believe that the year is almost over already. Uh, it's, it's just crazy. So yes, definitely it went by fast. Number five, what foods are you going to cook or eat on New Year's Eve? Um, probably not anything real exciting. Um, <laughs> We have been, my husband and I, have been not been doing well on our healthy eating. It's been really bad with the holidays. And so we've already kind of told each other that as soon as Christmas is over and our company is gone, because we do have two different people coming this month. And so obviously I want to feed them well. But once Christmas is over, we're going back to healthy eating. So come New Year's, will already be eating healthier. So it won't be that exciting. I'm sure I will have a drink or two though. Number six, have you picked out your outfit for New Year's Eve? Um, my outfit for New Year's Eve is probably gonna be my pajamas, <laughs> uh, seriously. I don't know that we're gonna be doing anything for New Year's Eve. Now my daughter's boyfriend is coming to visit us from Boston. And so we may or may not do something, but we haven't really talked about it. And usually my New Year's Eve consists of you know, hanging out in my pajamas. And if I make it to 12 o'clock, that's great. But I don't necessarily always do. So um, don't really have any plans um, that may or may not change. But I will be in my pajamas for sure. Number seven, what are you gonna do on New Year's Eve? Well, I kind of just answered this in number six. We don't really know. Um, we still gotta figure that out. I don't know that it's really gonna be much of anything too exciting. Number eight. What was your proudest moment of this year? Um, I don't think there was a moment exactly that I would have been proud of. I would say, and I'm not good at saying things I'm proud of, to be honest, that's kind of uncomfortable for me, but I would say if I'm going to say something I'm proud of, it would be this whole YouTube thing and actually kind of sticking with it because I am super, super tech challenged. I mean, really, really bad. Um, and computer illiterate and all that good stuff. I don't know how to do anything. Well, I kind of do now. But when I first started this, I knew how to do nothing. And so it was really intimidating to me. And I'm proud of myself for not letting the fact that I didn't know what I was doing stop me from doing it anyway. 
And even though I started this at the end of 2018, the majority of the time I've been doing it has been 2019. And I feel like that's the time where I've learned the most and grown the most. And now I'm actually kind of comfortable with a lot of the techie stuff. I still don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm able to fumble along well enough. So I'm proud of myself basically for just jumping in there and doing it, even though it really, it really did kind of scare me because I'm clueless or was clueless. Well, I'm still clueless, let's be honest. Number nine, what will you do different this year? Um, this kind of goes back to what did I learn this year, which is to have patience. So I'm gonna just try to have more patience this year. I am not a patient person and that's hard for me to do. So that's definitely something that I wanna continue to kind of work on. And like I said, just have trust in that God knows what he's doing and have patience. Number 10, what are your new year's resolutions? Okay. Um, I'm going to sound weird probably saying this, but I don't do New Year's resolutions. Um, I never really have. It's never been something that I've just really cared to do, I guess. And I don't know how to explain it except for, to me, there's 365 days in the year. And I think any one of them is just as good as any other to try to start making positive changes in your life or to start striving for goals, you know, resolutions. I think any time is a good time to do that. And I think the fact that there's so much emphasis and, you know, importance put on the new year being the time to make changes, I don't necessarily like that for some reason. I don't know. Like I said, I'm weird. But I just think any time is a good time and it doesn't need to be New Year's. So I don't necessarily ever put really any importance on New Year's specifically. Now saying that, I do understand why people do the whole New Year's resolution thing. I think the fact that another year has passed and we're going into a new one is enough of a motivation for people to kind of be like, whoa, you know, another year has passed, I haven't gotten done what I wanted to do. And that motivates them to maybe try to make changes. But for me, it just doesn't really work like that. So like I said, I'm weird. Okay guys, that was it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tag a couple of people. I'm gonna tag Karina from Mommy and Kimberly's Adventures, Jen from Live Laugh Love with Jen, Stacy from You, Me, and Alfie, and Lisa from Lisa's Paradise. I will have them linked down below. If any of you guys want to do that, it would be great. If you don't, that's fine too. And thanks to Lily again for tagging me on this. It was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.